mi amigos y familia. Um, welcome to another weekly session or update from Lara Land. Things are pretty good here in Boca Still Toro. Uh, Panama's second wave of COVID is easing. The pressure on the hospitals is easing. The number of deaths per day is easing. So that's good. And we're perfectly safe here in Bocas. We love our house here in the monkey house. Uh, we see the monkeys fairly regularly. I notice they've got quite uh, the routine and quite a wide range too actually. Anyway, today I want to have a little quick chat because I think there's quite a lot of interest in this as to how we're living as digital nomads. I mean, we're not actually very nomadic at the moment because COVID, but uh, working online, we have to work online and how do we do it in Boca del Toro? Our house is surrounded by noisy neighbours. It's Saturday afternoon and they're doing a bunch of, I don't know, work in the yard or whatever. Anyway. Um, we're surrounded by a bunch of big trees with lots of monkeys and apparently sloths, but haven't yet seen one. Donde esta perezosos? Yo no ver. Yet. Um, apparently iguanas, haven't seen many of those yet. Lots and lots of bird life, really beautiful. So that's awesome and lots of really, really good surf. So there's a lot of really good reasons to come and want to live in Boca del Toro, but can you do it if you have to work online? The answer is yes if you're patient. Our internet connection is with Panama, Pananet, Panama Net, Pananet. We've upgraded it twice. Um, the last upgrade we did notice from, what was it, from, it was to four megabits a second, and it did make a bit of a difference. We've asked for another upgrade. We'll know in another week or two if that makes an even better difference. Hopefully it will. It works. Um, we can access web pages, they load pretty fast. You're gonna have to be a little bit patient. When I watch movies on Netflix, every now and then, it doesn't always happen, but every now and then it just kind of pauses and you get the spinning wheel and you just have to patiently wait. And it only takes about a minute and the movie starts streaming again. Uploading video is the most time consuming. We have a video that's about 45 minutes in length to upload each week on a Friday evening. Uh, yesterday we had to let that run overnight. We think it might have taken about two to three hours to upload. So that's the most frustrating aspect of the internet here in Boca del Toro. We're on Isla Colón and we're by, I mean there's pretty much one main road and we're by the main road. So I think the connection is a cable connection. I don't think it's satellite but I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so the internet so far has been pretty reliable, but we do have a backup. We use our cell phones and we have, both of us have a monthly plan for $39.95 with Tigo, which gives us unlimited mobile data and we can use it for unlimited hotspotting. So if our internet goes down, we can get a cell phone connection and we can uh, hotspot with that onto our laptops and continue work. We have used that a few times if we're out and about or traveling, and it's been a really good backup. Um, so long as you have two to three bars in LTE, which is the Panamanian equivalent of 4G, I believe, then you're going to be able to download and upload video and whatever it is you're working on pretty easily with Tigo. So that's good. Here in our house, we don't quite have a strong enough signal to do that very well. We have used it and it works again with patience. So that's the internet. Power is the other issue here in Bocas well, all over Panama. And so we bought one of these portable power pack. We bought this on Amazon. We tried to find it in Panama, could not find it. I'll open this up and show you. This gives us an extra two to three hours of power. If the power goes off, we have used this a couple of times. So it's a small portable little unit. So we keep that charged. If the power goes down and our laptops run out of battery, we just plug into that and keep on working. Like I said, we've used it a couple of times and that's really handy. Um, failing that, we've got the car. <laughs> we plug into the car. We haven't had to go to that yet. There are a lot of cafes and restaurants here in Panama that are mostly empty at the moment and Quite a few of them will allow you to work 
and plug your laptop in, there are power outlets, they've got free Wi-Fi. So if you want to work in a public place, if you're comfortable with that, plenty of options for that too, including here in Boca Stil Toro, even as far as Paunch Beach Club, which I really like. So that's how we make it work. It requires a little bit of patience, but is absolutely completely doable. Okay, so I'm going to finish this week's instalment from Lara Land with more surfing because there's been a hell of a lot of surfing going on which makes me so happy. I did say last week, I think was it last week or the week before, um, the new break that we've found that I really like, Black Rock, is a really good break for long longboards. We're in the season here for surf in Bacchus and uh, the waves tend to be a bit bigger so I'm getting more comfortable on three to four foot waves. Previously back home in New Zealand four foot was the maximum I had ever tried to go out in and I was reasonably comfortable with three foot waves but that's on beach breaks which is hard to get my longboard out in but here it's uh, like a little A-frame in the middle of the ocean over the reef. You get dropped off by the boat onto the side there's no duck diving required you don't have to get your way out you're already there so it's a lot easier for me to be more comfortable on bigger waves so one of the things I'm doing to or practicing and learning to enable that is finishing my wave properly and I'm now sometimes able to finish the wave turn the board around a bit and lie on the board not sit on it ready to paddle off to the side to the channel quickly so that I'm not wiped out by anything coming behind me so that's important so that's um a little improvement I've made with my surfing this week and definitely getting more comfortable on bigger waves with my longboard so yay um, I don't think I'll have a cocktail of the week for you because again I'm just not really drinking much alcohol because well there's been a lot of surfing going on um, what else do I have oh yeah I've got some shopping in Panama I'll take you to, with me to Gourmet Deli and to the little fruit stand where we get our fruit and vegetables which is in the main road here in Isla Colón in Boca del Toro. Adios mi amigos y familia, muchas gracias um, usted para ver uh, mi videos and muchas gracia, gracias para subscribing. Ciao!
Yeah, you'll 